How many times have you seen a product and you thought, what's with the name for this speaker? And it has a bunch of digits, a bunch of letters, and they don't really make sense. You're not alone. I have definitely wondered the same thing. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to maybe poke at these names a little bit. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you some speaker names and we're gonna try to understand why they're named that way. In other words, why do manufacturers just not say speaker one or floor stander one, floor stander two, floor stander three, or one hyphen one for different sizes? I don't know, it drives me nuts. So let's do this. Let's, let's walk through some examples together. Klipsch reference R610F. R for reference, perfect sense. F floor stander. Got that. 610. Well, there's not 610s, okay. Uh, is 610 for six and a half, six and a half inch woofer, and then a one inch aluminum tweeter. What's the zero for? Is that 1.0? Then why is it not 6510? I don't understand that. Polk Signature Elite ES60. E for Elite, S for Signature. Why is it not SE? It's Signature Elite. It's not Elite signature why are these flipped 6.0 it's a six and a half inch why is it not six five mm. focal cora 816 i don't know cora okay that's fine 816 well there's not 816s obviously but there's not a, an eight inch woofer in here there's not a 16 inch woofer in here if this is centimeters then maybe the 16 is close to a six and a half. I don't think it is, but it's it's kind of in the ballpark. But what's the one in inches? I, I, I don't know. What's the eight? Is that what's eight in centimeters? Two. That's over two, two inches. I don't know. Bowers and Wilkins. Those these are the worst offenders to me. The B&W speakers. I can never understand their naming scheme or remember their naming because they've got like the 802s and the 803 and the 804 and they've got the diamonds and sometimes maybe I'm wrong about this, but sometimes I think that the 804 would be the, the biggest one, the best one. And if I recall correctly, it seems like it's the 800 or maybe it's the 801, but regardless of my memory, it should be very clear to consumers. Okay. So let's go with 702 S2. S2 uh, version two, maybe why, why not like MK2? I don't know what the S2 stands for. Uh, one inch dome tweeter. There's nothing in here about a one inch. Uh, the 702, there's there's nothing in here about seven, seven inch drivers, 70 millimeter drivers, nothing like that. So that doesn't really make sense on the surface. It's it would just be easier if these things just made sense when you looked at it. Uh, JBL HDI 3800, three eights. Cool, got it. Waveguide probably stays the same within their different models, I'm assuming. So I'm okay, 3800, three eights. Why not just HDI 38? Mm, does 3800 sound cooler? I don't know. 3800 bucks for a pair, maybe, on sale right now, okay. <laughs> Polk Audio Monitor XT60. What is the 60? Six and a half inch woofers. I just, I don't understand the 60. Uh, Premier RP 8000 F. Okay. RP reference Premier F for floor standards. Eight because it has eight inch drivers. I'm okay with this one. Focal area 926. I don't see nine inch drivers. I don't see nine of anything. I don't see two six inch drivers. Do I? <gasps> I do see two six inch drivers. Where's the nine coming from? No idea. Anyway, you get my point. Manufacturers, if you guys don't mind, maybe make it easier on us consumers. It helps us remember your product names a whole lot easier when it's something as simple as, hey, this is floor standard 1.1. This is floor standard 1.2. And each year, maybe even name it like the year that it came out, like floor standard 2022 hyphen best hyphen 
not as good hyphen worst for your different models. I mean, I know this is really all just kind of supposed to be satire. So don't take this too seriously, everybody. But in, in reality, there is some legitimacy to this complaint of mine. And it's not just me. It's other people who have said, I really don't understand the naming or the um, nomenclature scheme for these different speakers and speaker models from different manufacturers. It's just confusing. And as they go on and they create more and more, they get harder to understand. I mean, yeah, again, satire, thus the wig, but still kind of on point. Uh, with that said, I'll talk to you all later. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, make sure to smile. It helps every once in a while. Ooh, that rhymed. All right, talk to you all later. Peace.